The internet computer has been on a downward spiral ever since it launched on May 11th. The internet computer opened up at $800, however has since dropped to around $100 where it sits at right now. There have been a few distinct reasons for this, including the crypto crash that has happened in the past couple of days, where we've seen Bitcoin drop from 60000 all the way down to 30000 in a short period of time. So, in today's video, I will also give my opinion on the cryptocurrency market cap and where it is going to go. Of course, if you enjoy the video, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're just about to hit 500 subscribers and it would be much appreciated. Also, remember nothing in this video is financial advice. So, the internet computer is one of those fundamentally strong projects. It aims to decentralize the public internet, a very altruistic goal, and it's got a 20-year roadmap in which it, dis it wants to overtake the internet in about 10 years, or at least begin to overtake the internet and by 20 years have this in full operation. However, despite this being such a fundamentally sound project, it's been one of the worst performing projects in the top 10 for cryptocurrencies dropping a whopping 70 or 80% from its all-time highs. So why has this been? Well, let's start with the reasons that are specific to the internet computer. One of the reasons is the people who initially invested in the internet computer back in 2016, the first private sale investors, are up a whopping 5,000x on their initial investment. Now, if you invested a lot of money in a project that you loved and it went up 5,000x, what would you do? Because I can tell you, I would be running to the hills with my profits and buying a house or something with that money. I would not be keeping it in the project if I was up that much. And even though there weren't that many first round private sale investors, there were a ton more in the second and the third round and these guys are all sitting up over 100x. So naturally, there was a ton of profit taking on opening Day when it opened at $80 billion from all of these investors just really taking profits on the hype storm for the internet computer. Now, another reason why I do think the price is dropping, and I'm a bit annoyed at the internet computer for, is they have a closed code, so they don't let anyone see the code of the internet computer. The reason they do this is because they don't want anyone to be copying the project or seeing what the code is. However, with a closed code, this gives them a lot of power and it actually questions how decentralized it is. In their roadmap, they say they want to open up the code. However, I have basically decided I'm not going to invest too much more until I see an open code. I do have a little bit of money in the internet computer. I bought first at $400 and then I bought next at $90. So I'm actually sitting a little bit up right now. However, I do think it, there could be another leg down and I don't want to invest too much more until I see them open up the code for the internet computer and until I see them do another couple of stuff that will give me a lot of reassurance within the project. So, the internet computer has recently been tanking. As we can see, the internet computer has maintained its spot in the top 10 cryptos, which is pretty good of it. However, we can see the internet computer has been one of the worst performing cryptos, dropping around 50% on the week, and even more on the last couple of days, on the last 10 days or so. So, the internet computer has not performed too well. As we can see, the internet computer has very low volume. This is about 505 million relative to the other cryptos, which are in the billions and even tens of billions. So the internet computer has very low volume. This means people are not that willing to buy the dip on the internet computer. People are a lot more willing to buy the dip on Cardano right now than they are the internet computer, and this can be shown in the low volume. So I do think this is a bit of a bearish signal for the internet computer that relative to its other competitors that are right next to it in price, it is quite low volume. Now, the internet computer has been on a downward trend ever since it ICO'd, as I have already said. We can see it's a very clear downward pattern. There's some support around 120, which we're reaching right now. And as you can see, when the cryptos all crashed on May 19th, the internet computer went down under $100 to around $93. When it went under $100, this was basically my buy signal where I said, all right, I'm gonna get a bit more internet computer. And then it had a huge relief rally. As we can see, the internet computer then proceeded to run up around 150 or so percent, 150% from 
the lows roughly. So this was a massive relief rally. However, it then proceeded to bleed another 43% from these highs. This is generally what happens with very volatile cryptos, especially when they're in a big downtrend what like the internet computer is right now. I believe in this project's fundamentals for the long term. I do believe this is going to be a pretty good project in the long term. However, right now it doesn't look good. It looks like there's another potential breakdown coming under $100. And I know that sounds really bad for the people who got it. All I'm going to be doing is holding my current position, and I may add a little bit more. However, I'm not looking at making this project one of my top five or six cryptos. It's only going to be a couple of percent of my portfolio, maybe around 5% if I'm really bullish on it. So, of course, the whole cryptocurrencies have come down as well. And to judge where the internet computer is going, what we actually need to do is we need to see where Bitcoin's going. Because right now, Bitcoin is the king of this market cycle. The Bitcoin is currently the biggest cryptocurrency, and basically every crypto will follow Bitcoin. When Bitcoin is just hanging around above its moving average, it's altcoin season. Everything's bullish. However, as we can see from all-time highs, Bitcoin has corrected roughly 55% from its all-time highs. This means it's sitting well below its moving moving average and generally when this happens this is not bullish for the other coins. Now a lot of other people around are saying Bitcoin is just going to do a v-shaped recovery and come right back up. I don't necessarily believe this is the case. I think Bitcoin is going to retest this bull market support band and then dump right back down again. So it has, and the reason I do believe this is because it's happened in the past. If we take a look at my other Bitcoin chart here, we can see that all the way back in 2014 and 2013, there was a double peak cycle. So, as you can see in this double peak cycle, what essentially happened is in April of 2013, Bitcoin climbed all the way up to $270 and then it had a huge dump and it doesn't look like it's big on the chart at all, but this was a 76% fall and it lasted for about 224 days until it reached new all-time highs and then it went all the way back up 1800% and it reached its new all-time highs. So as you can see, Bitcoin had a massive correction and then kept going in the same bull market. This was all exactly in the same bull market this entire area. However, it was a double peak. In 2017, we didn't see this. We just saw a huge blow off top. And now in 2020, we're looking like we could be getting into a double peak cycle like we did. The reason I think this is because it does not look like a blow off top, number one. And number two, the cycles tend to lengthen out and we tend to see much better returns than what we've already seen based on historical data. So what I think is going to happen in a good scenario is Bitcoin is just going to hang around sideways for maybe over a hundred days and eventually just shoot all the way back up. Now, for the internet computer, because this is what we're doing the video on, if Bitcoin hangs around sideways for a couple hundred of days, what do you think is going to happen to the internet computer? Well, it's not going to go up in price. In fact, it's probably going to drop a lot more than it currently is in price, perhaps all the way down to the $50 range or even lower. This is why I'm waiting for further confirmation from Bitcoin to see what it does. If Bitcoin gets back above the bull market support band, I'm sure the internet computer will do very well. But if it just trades sideways at around 30k under the bull market support band, I hate to say altcoins will do very, very badly during this time period. So this would generally be what I'd assume as an accumulation period for a lot of the altcoins that I like. And perhaps I'll pick up some internet computer in this period. However, I do believe there's another big leg down coming for the internet computer, even though it's got some huge future prospects right now, it is very low volume, not enough developed on it right now, and it is an altcoin. It's not an established altcoin like Ethereum or Chainlink, it is a relatively unestablished and new altcoin, and I do think there is a lot more room to the downside on the internet computer right now, and that's why I'm waiting. However, of course it's not financial advice and the internet computer 
computer could just shoot back up. I'm not 100% sure, but this is what the data is currently telling me is most likely to happen. Obviously, everything in crypto is a probability game. Perhaps Bitcoin shoots the whole way back up to 100k and everyone's happy. That's why I'm not selling my internet computer. I'm just holding and perhaps buying if it drops. So if you found any use in this video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. I do believe the internet computer can get up to $500 to $1,000 this market cycle. However, I think this is going to take a bit of time. If it really is a double peak cycle and Bitcoin trades sideways for six months, we're probably going to see a top out in this market cycle, middle of 2022 or even end of 2022 which seems very crazy. However, I do think that is a realistic possibility. Thanks for watching the video, guys.